important students are you welcome to session 3 of my project topic today we are discussing about dehydration process in our last class we discussed about killing and fixing what is killing killing is a sudden and permanent stoppage of life activities and dehydration is the and fixation is the preservation of materials and the principle about killing and fixing what is the principle about killing and fixing there should be a balance between the reagents used for killing and fixing and if there is a disadvantage of of one reagent it should counterbalance to counterbalance the disadvantage of the second reagent used so there should be a there should be a balance between the reagents used for killing and fixing today we you, we are moving to the topic dehydration dehydration is the uh, removal of water from the fixed tissues the removal of water from the fixed and the hardened tissues and it helps to make permanent preparations and dehydration is an essential process for making permanent preparations and it preserves the tissues for a quite long time and it involves the process involves washing action there should and there is a wash washing action and it makes tissues firm and brittle it makes tissues firm and brittle dehydration is a gradual process is a gradual process to avoid plasmolysis and damage to tissues so dehydration is a gradual process and it should be the process should be done at low temperature to be done at low temperature to minimize distortion occurring to the specimen so what is dehydration dehydration is the removal of water from fixed tissues fixed and hardened tissues and it helps to make permanent preparations permanent preparation permanent site preparations and preserves the tissues for a quite long time and it involves washing action washing action and it makes tissues firm and brittle is a gradual process should be uh, done uh, gradually to avoid plasmolysis to tissues and damage and it should be done at a low temperature if you are asked to write about a um, one mark or two mark question you should write these points removal of water helps to make permanent preparations involves washing action or makes tissues firm and brittle is a gradual process to avoid plasmolysis and damage and it should be done at a low temperature and when we are going to the process involved in in uh, dehydration it involves treating the tissues with a series of solutions a series of solutions are using for dehydration and there should be a containing the series of solutions containing progressively increasing concentrations of dehydrated agent there is an increasing concentration of dehydrated agent we are using a solution series of solution for dehydration and this solution contains progressively increasing concentration of dehydrating agent and decreasing concentration of water so what is the condition for a dehydrating agent is a series of solution containing progressively increasing concentration of dehydrating agent and decreasing concentration of water normally we use two contrasting methods for dehydration for making uh, permanent preparations for making permanent preparations here uh, we use two contrasting methods for dehydration so the first one is the tissues are dehydrated in a non solvent of paraffin for making permanent preparations we are using paraffin paraffin for embedding that we will discuss later for making permanent preparations you can see 
we are using paraffins, paraffins, wax, wax for making permanent preparations. So, in dehydration for making permanent preparations, we are using a non-solvent of paraffin, non-solvent of paraffin, or we are using a solvent of paraffin. And we can use two types of dehydrating agents. First one is is a non-solvent of paraffin. Non is N O N, a non-solvent of paraffin, and the second one is a solvent of paraffin. Uh, coming to the use of dehydrating agents, we are using many types of dehydrating agents. Uh, the first one and the common one is ethanol or alcohol. Alcohol is a common dehydrating agent. We are using ethanol water mixture. Uh, if the specimen is washed in water, tissues should pass from 5% to 100%. If the tissues or a specimen is washed in water, when we are uh, taking a specimen, we first wash in water. So after that, we are passing the specimen or tissues from 5% to 100% of ethanol series. So as I already mentioned, we are using a series of solutions of dehydrating, a series of solutions. In the case of ethanol, we are using 5%, 10%, 15%, 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 70%, 85%, 90% and last 100%. From Starting from 5% to 100% ethanol series. We are passing the tissues from 5% to 100%. And if the specimen is fixed in 70% ethanol, if we are fixing the material in 70% ethanol, then start the dehydration in the same concentration. Then we can start the dehydration with the 70%, 70%, 80, 85, 90, 95 and 100%. And the time interval for, for which the materials are kept in each grade is 30 minutes, 30 minutes for small or delicate objects and uh, 12 hours for large blocks of wood. Normally, the time interval for dehydration is 30 minutes. Dehydration is the removal of water. The next dehydrating agent is isopropyl alcohol. Another one is acetone. Acetone is an excellent dehydrating agent and is a desirable substitute of ethanol. The most common uh, you commonly use dehydrating agent is ethanol. Acetone is an excellent substitute for ethanol. And the procedure is exactly as same as that of the ethanol. Ethanol like well, ethanol like any other series pass here that that whole that ne, our acetone will pass here. Our material will go section will go. Uh, like material uh, fix the material like the sada edu. So fix the material edu, other at the case of section edu, where ethanol series, ala acetone series, pass you. Oro, oro series, up to thirty minutes, and we keep it on the own. At the material, at the reagent, dehydrating agent, glycerin. Glycerin sada no way another. Is commonly used for algae and delicate objects. Algae and delicate objects are not It's a slow progressive dehydration process. This is a dehydration process. Slow aerium. Slow aerium is a progressive dehydration process. So it prevents sudden changes in concentration. This slow progressive process it prevents sudden changes in concentration and minimizes plasmolysis. For any dehydrating agent, we will be able to do plasmolysis. Plasmolysis is not the same as the cells and the tissues. Plasmolysis will minimize the cells and the distortion will minimize the cells. That is why we will be able to do it. If we are able to do delicate objects, we will be able to do it. That is why the dehydrating agent is suitable. The most suitable dehydrating agent is glycerin. The next one is butyl alcohol. 
ब्यूटेल आल्कोहोल और ब्यूटेनॉल ब्यूटेल आल्कोहोल और ब्यूटेनॉल हमको उपयोग किया बच्चों अब वो लेने आते हैं वो डिहाइड्रेटिंग एजेंट आना टीबीए टेशरी ब्यूटेल आल्कोहोल टेशरी ब्यूटेल आल्कोहोल अरुण हमको 50 परसेंट और 70 परसेंट इस सीरीज 50 परसेंट और 70 परसेंट इल हमको स्टार्ट किया बच्चों अलग ही इट कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम 20 20 परसेंट 30 परसेंट 40 परसेंट 50 परसेंट अप तू 100 परसेंट इट कैन मेक टीबीए सीरीज द नेक्स्ट वन इस डाइऑक्साइड और डाइएथिलीन डाइऑक्साइड इट इस आल्सो अ वाइडली एक्सेप्टेड Three or four one. Ethanol, isopropyl alcohol, acetone, and glycerin. These four are non-solvent of paraffin. Non-solvent of paraffin. As we have already said that there are two types of dehydrating agents uh, for permanent preparation. That is non-solvent of paraffin and the solvent of paraffin. And in ethanol, isopropyl alcohol, acetone, and glycerin. These are non-solvent of paraffin and butyl alcohol, TBA and dioxins are solvents of paraffin. So the next section uh, will be the sectioning that we will discuss in the next class. Thank you.